take for this light heavyweight fight. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter who stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a submission fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. The Huntington Beach bad boy! Tito Ortiz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. Forrest Griffin, Tito Ortiz. Let's go, come on! And we are underway. At UFC 59 in April of 2006, Forrest Griffin came in, and even though he lost that fight, he proved to us that his maturation had continued, that he was getting better all the time because he took the best of Tito Ortiz in the first round, and he nearly came back and won the fight. In fact, some people believe he did. Being in that fight with Tito, doing so well, keeping it so competitive, and in fact, winning the last round and it going on, making it look like he was the one who was eventually gonna win the fight, I think it really gave him a tremendous amount of confidence and allowed him to compete in his, his future fights against top-level fighters like Shogun Hua and Rampage Jackson. down he got that knee between his legs and then perfectly executed the takedown back to his feet oh the cross followed by the hook shoots for the takedown he's got a sprawl oh big kick big hook nice hook there Answered by a big body shot. Joe, that one opened him up. Yeah, he's really starting to bleed now. Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. Got to keep those hands up. Under two minutes remains. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. Fast hands, good battle inside. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Getting in tight, using the clinch. Just over a minute remains. Just about one minute remains in the first round. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Belly to belly to play. Takes him for a ride. He lets him up. Oh, to the midsection. Oh. Eats a jab. Round one complete. Joe, what a dominant round turned in. Yeah, no mystery who won that round. Listen, son, we're losing this fight to points. Look me in the eye and take a deep breath. You keep with me on this. Take a couple deep breaths, look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches with him. Let's start hitting those legs a little bit. Coming back. Listen, we had eight weeks, nine weeks. You're not doing what we did. Listen, you got to do what we did. He is going to come out. Let's take a look at some of that action here. There she is, the beautiful Ariani. Here we go, 
round two. Looking for that knockout punch. He's, oh, uppercut, he's down. In the guard. Big elbow. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. Jeff, wow, that right hand. Boom. Man, he gets some torque on that hook. What an exchange here. And again, he goes for a ride. Nice work. Back to his feet. He's got the clinch. Under three minutes now. Oh, beautiful souple. He decides to let him up. The clinch game once again. Beautiful throw. Great Greco-Roman right there, Joe. Under two minutes remains in round number two. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. He gets back to his feet. Oh, one punch! He's down! It is all over! Knockout victory! Tito Ortiz with the victory! Let's take a look at that again. Here's the counter, and it is perfect. One more time from another angle. Lands the counter, and the lights go out in Georgia. Boom! Right on the button, Joe. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Huntington Beach, and boy, Tito Ortiz. The victory goes to Tito Ortiz.